escaping side control. Yes, sir. Uh, on this side, just we always tell our partner to go to our, our good side. Just that's, that's how we get out first. All right. Um, okay. Actually, everyone's on that side. So it's the turn. Okay. So we're going to go through. I'm going to cover a few different escapes and how to. We're going to do four different escapes and try to link these escapes together. Okay. So the first one is when Scott's controlled my hips, uh, but he hasn't managed to get good control with this. Um, this arm yet, so he hasn't got like the cross face or anything like that. Um, or the other scenario is sometimes people switch their base to face you. Which, yeah, sometimes they hear like this, right? And often you can start to get control of this top arm. Okay, so that's what we're going to focus on for this first one. Both my hands are going to go to the elbow, right at the elbow, like this. Okay, because if you go to the shoulder, like pummel back in. Yeah, skull can pummel back in really easy. Okay, but if I'm at the the elbow, pummel back in. I can keep, like anytime he pummels, I drop my elbow down, okay? So it's really hard for him to get underneath that, that space. But if I'm down near the elbow, that's much more difficult for Scott to do than if I'm here, right? Okay, and I want to use both hands like this, okay? Um, and what I'm going to do, so he's controlling the hips, that's fine. I'm going to start to push into Scott this way, trying to push his arm away. And as I push, I'm going to get up on my right elbow, okay? Not like this, it's really hard to get up like rolling over your elbow. Like that. We have to bring our elbow above our head and roll forward on it. Like that, okay? So now I'm up, I've got good frames. When Scott tries to drive me back down now, I've got really good position, okay? So from here, I lift my hips up. So I'm basically getting to my knees and I shoot my right leg back through into the guard, okay? Or it could be back to, to standing, okay? Um, probably one of the risks with this, I don't want to let Scott go to mount, okay? So if I just sit here like this, he could go that way and go to mount. So as I'm doing this, I want to make sure my, I keep my hips actually pretty close to Scott and my top leg will stay high. So go to mount now, Scott. See my top leg will block Scott from, from getting to mount. Get up to my knees, shoot my leg through to guard, or I can get back up to the stand. Okay. So I'm going to show four options and you're going to work them all. And then we're going to do like slightly increasing resistance until it becomes more live resistance. Okay. So. So when I do this, like this, the really common action is for Scott to swing this arm to the other side, like this, okay? And if I just stay here, now he's squashing me, he's got my, his weight back on me, okay? So basically, we go back. Basically, because of this uh, control got on his arm, he's trying to get the control back, he swings it over the top, okay? So what I have to do for this, go back again, I have to track this arm, okay? I'm going to change, so my immediately change, so my right hand's palm up, and I'm going to try and push his hand as high, make it do the largest arc possible, and try and push his arm as far that way as I can. So basically I'm going to do the opposite thing now. So as we go here, I get up on my left elbow, and I push his elbow out to here, okay? You can see, uh, even though I've turned my back to Scott, there's no way he's, uh, he's going to take my back, because I'm blocking his elbow, so try and face me, Scott. You can't face me because of that. I scoop my hips back. And I recover the guy. Okay, so again, here like this, as he swings over, we track and we get up. Okay, it has to be in one like, it's got to be like this guy. Like as we're moving, my elbow is already coming above my head and I'm doing the roll. It will not work if you go and then try to like, once their arm's here and you're turned, you won't be able to get back up over, you're going to be stuck. Okay, so I can't be late, I can't go. And now try and get up, it's really difficult. Okay, he's gonna hold me down. So again, I'm gonna use that momentum, steal the, the switch of the arm, and we get up on an elbow and push the arm like that. Okay, scoot back, we'll go our guard back. Okay, so there's the first two, the second two. This is probably our most common escape from side control and probably the, the highest percentage. I block the hip and I work to get my arm underneath the, the chin. I can flare my elbow a little bit to stop uh, Scott from putting pressure down. Now it's not, if I try and push with my hand, like this, if I'm trying to frame like this, push against me, Scott, like he can probably overpower my arm with his weight and he'll, he'll kind of bear a little bit of uncomfortableness. When you actually grip the shoulder blade, it's now my elbow flaring up, like this is strong. If he tries to push through that, he's basically gonna choke himself and he's not gonna close the gap. Okay? It's not an actual, you don't try and submit them with this choke, you try to just keep the weight off you. Okay, but don't flare your elbow, okay? Because he puts his head under my arm, I get in a lot of trouble. So even though I'm pushing up with this elbow, it stays on the other side of his head. Okay, so I'm gripping the shoulder blade, not too far here. Back of the shoulder blade, flaring my elbow, 
and try to, sorry, like, like pushing my elbow up and not flaring, okay? So try to get underneath that arm now, Scott. Okay. I should be able to keep that here pretty well. I block the hip, it can be with your hand, but just watch your wrist, okay? Don't have it so, so I have my elbow down, so if he drops his, his hips, that's fine. My, my elbow can move like, hey, let's go do this way. So what I don't want is my elbow flared like this. If he drops his wrist, his hips, that can injure my wrist, yeah? Let's bend back. If my elbow's tight, like this, he drops the wrist. Like my elbow moves like that, and my wrist, my wrist's fine. Here, my wrist gets smashed, okay? So we can push here, or it can be with that forearm. Either one's fine. We flare up, hip away. So even though he's holding my hips in tight, now that I've got all these frames, I should be able to hip escape and put my right foot in, okay? Now with my right foot, uh, let's get this Big mistake people do, they bend the knee and try to get it back here. This is really compact and Scott can really jam my leg and start to like, it's really hard to get the guard back, okay? So I wanna make as much distance between his hips and my hips as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten my right leg, trying to push his hips as far as I can this way. Okay, I'm still framing with my right hand, but try and close the gap now. So much harder, okay? So I'm actually kicking out like this and this gives me heaps of room to bring my inside leg in Clear it out, get a good frame here. So my knee block to shoulder, frame me against the hip, hip, shoulder. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do, control the arm, pull myself back to, to guard. Okay, so again, it's not this. Common mistake, people try to do this you know, and get guard back like that, and they run around in circles and nothing happens. Okay, when we get here, we hip away, straighten our leg, and we get our frame back, and we can pull back to guard, nice and easy. Okay, and last one, Scott's gonna run around towards north-south, okay? Like this, so if we, if we go back to that same, just like that, but I get that same escape I was just doing. So I hip away, my leg goes here, and Scott starts running around. So if I try to get my guard back here, really difficult to, to get my legs back in, because he's running away from my leg, okay? So, that's my starting position here. When we're here, I'm gonna pummel an underhook, so my Left hand, the one that was on the chin, is gonna go underneath, and I'm gonna to turn to my knees and get back up. Yeah, so this hand that was pushing the chin, is gonna pummel underneath. As he runs around, I sprawl out, come to my knees and go towards the legs. Uh, once we're there, we can try to get up. So again, we can go like this. Scott's turn, so pummel underneath, turn. Scott ran more than north-south, so I got half guard on the other side. But if it just goes to north-south, I go to my knees. Go to north-south. Okay, cool. Up to my knees, on the leg. I can start driving up for the single, or try to back away and get to my feet. All right, let me just recap them. Okay, so first one, Scott's got the hips. Uh, I'll block the arm. It might be when he's switch base, or it might be when he's just past the, the guard here. I'm gonna get up on our elbow. Scoot back, block them from going to mount. Bring our leg back in. Second one, he defends that by swinging over the top. We go the other way. Okay. Third one, we get our frames, get our leg in, extend our leg, get all of our frames. And we can recover our guard. Fourth one, he runs around towards the, so we turn. And we uh, get to our knees, chase the leg. All right. Three, two, one. All right, so work easy.